Welcome. So what we have here is 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. That 2 is kind of like weirdly written, but I'll redo that. Divided by 4x squared minus 1 times 2x squared plus x minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. OK. So we got to go and multiply this. And before we even multiply, we know we have to simplify this. So before we multiply everything across, we need to have them simplify. Because right now, we can't. there's no terms that we can divide out. Everything is separated by addition, except for between the two rational expressions. So we want to get everything separated by multiplication, at least in their parentheses. So therefore, we can divide them out. All right. Now, we, do, we are going to have some fun with some factoring, because we don't have a equals 1 for all of my trinomials. So in this one, we know I have to factor this out. And it's, since my a is equal to 2, I can't just say what two numbers multiply to give me 2 and add to give me 5. I need to break this up into two possible factors. Now, thankfully, we only have a 2 up here. So we know that the first two terms have to be 2x and x to give us 2x squared. There's no other possibilities in our, as our integers. Then, or at least without dealing with our fractions um, that we're going to deal with, then what we're going to do is say, all right, the last two terms have to give us 2. So our only options there are positive 2 and positive 1, or negative 2 and negative 1. However, the terms have to add up to a positive 5. So we can probably eliminate now our negative numbers and just use the positive. So what we need to say is, all right, what do I need to multiply 2 by to, and then multiply x by, so therefore they add us up to 5? Well, I realize that if I do 2x times 2, that gives me 4x, plus x times 1 gives me 5x. So therefore, that's going to be my factored form for this trinomial. So I have 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. Then over here, I have a difference of two squares. Believe it or not, remember difference of two squares. All difference of two squares states is if I have a squared minus b squared, that can be written as a minus b times a plus b. All right. But you might say, all right, yeah, well, this one has a 4x squared, though. Well, is 4 a square number? Yes. Is x a square number? Yes. So this whole term is a squared term that we can rewrite. And is 1 a squared number? Of course. 1 times or 1 squared is 1. So therefore, I could rewrite this as 2x squared minus 1 squared, where a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 1. So therefore, the factor form of this is going to be 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. All right? Pretty cool here. And then we already know we're going to be able to divide those out. But let's continue. So now I have 2x plus 1 minus 1. And again, thankfully, we just have the 2 in front. So it's going to be pretty basic for us to, when determining our two factors. We know they're going to have to be 2x and x. And then I just know that now I'm my last term that they need, my last two terms. So we know the first two terms have to give us 2x squared. The last two terms have to give us negative 1. So it's either positive 1, negative 1, or negative 1, positive 1. It doesn't matter. It's about to be both 1, but 1 has to be positive, 1 has to be negative. Now, we know my middle term has to add up to 1. Therefore, the larger of my products, either in the outer or in the inner, has to be positive. Well, I know that if I multiply 2, times my outer one, I know that has to be, that's going to be my larger product because the inner would be just an x. So this has to be, the whatever I multiply the 2x by has to be positive. So that's going to be positive 1, and that will be minus 1. So therefore, I rewrite that as 2x minus 1 times x plus 1. All right, And I'll explain my thought again, because remember, we know that that goes to 2x squared. We know that goes to negative 1. Now, the addition of my outer and my inner have to give me x. Well, 2x times 1 is positive 2x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. So 2x minus x is 1x. All right, then, thankfully, now we can just do a, a basic uh, factoring technique. What's two terms multiply to give me negative 2, but then add to give me a positive 1? That's going to be x plus 2 times x minus 1. All right, now I know I have binomials that are separated by addition and subtraction. However, every single binomial, though, is separated by multiplication. So therefore, I can divide across this multiplication. So now I'm just going to take whatever's in my numerator and in the denominator. If they're exactly the same, I know they divide out to 1. So we don't need to keep on including them. And these are close, but not exactly the same. So therefore, my final answer is going to be x plus 1 over x minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply rational expressions. Thanks.